Panch Sutra, 3,000 rupees for women, 3 lakh rupees loan for farmers, caste-based census, health insurance up to 25 lakh rupees, financial assistance for unemployed youth. These are the MVA's promises in Maharashtra. Wait, we've seen this before. Congress made similar promises in Karnataka. After they won that election, they followed suit in neighbouring Telangana. It worked. And they tried the same in Haryana, but it did not work. Well, the question of whether it will work for them or not in Maharashtra is a topic indeed. But have the Congress governments in Karnataka and Telangana kept their promise? Well, Prime Minister Modi says Congress has failed to deliver on its promises. Congress claims it has kept its promises. The problem with Modi's accusation is that he cited Congress's Haryana election laws as reason to claim that Congress's promises failed. A one-year report card curated by Bengaluru-based NGO, Citizens' Voluntary Initiative for the City, stated that the ruling Congress government in Karnataka fulfilled only 3% of its 2023 election manifesto as of August 2024. The report suggested that out of the five guarantee schemes, three schemes, Shakti scheme, Gruha Jyoti and Yuvanidhi have been fulfilled, but Gruha Lakshmi and Anabakya have been partially fulfilled. In Telangana, Congress had announced that crop loans of farmers would be waived for up to 2 lakh rupees in a single installment. But contrastingly, the loans of many farmers were reportedly waived in three installments, but not for all. About 18 lakh farmers out of 40 lakh are yet to get their loans waived. Likewise, women and unemployed youth were promised a monthly assistance of 2,500 rupees and 4,000 rupees respectively, which is yet to be fulfilled. On the other hand, Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde released the Mahayuti's 10-point guarantee list. Among key promises, Mahayuti plans to increase financial aid under Latki Bahin from existing 1,500 rupees to 2,100 rupees per month, farm loan waiver and an increase in the annual payment under the Shetkari Sanman scheme from 12,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees. Additionally, a 20% subsidy will be provided on minimum support price for agricultural produce. On top of this, senior citizen pension to be increased from 1,500 rupees to 2,100 rupees per month. Employment and educational aid for students, creation of 25 lakh jobs with a monthly tuition aid of 10,000 rupees for 10 lakh students through specialized training programs, increasing monthly wages to 15,000 rupees and providing security coverage for Anganwadi and Asha workers. A huge list indeed and a big expense. The 15th Finance Commission has recommended a fiscal deficit limit of 3% for states. As per the 2024-2025 budgeted estimates, the fiscal deficit of Maharashtra is projected to be at 2.59%. So basically, Mahayuti's promises ring alarm bells for the state's economy. The Finance Department recently pointed out that the fiscal deficit of the state has crossed a whopping 2 lakh crore rupees. The department made this observation last month when the proposal of three infrastructure projects in Mumbai and Thane were tabled for approval in the state cabinet. The state's fiscal deficit stood at 1.1 lakh crore rupees when the budget was presented in June by Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar, but it has now touched 2 lakh crore rupees owing to supplementary demands, which were tabled for the estimated expenditure of 96,000 crore rupees on various SOPs, including Latki Bahin and Annapurna schemes, and offering a stipend of up to 10,000 crore rupees to over 10 lakh youth, among others. So how much more can Maharashtra afford to spend is a question.